Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming today to celebrate this achievement for Tamar House Abbey Field. I think it's fantastic that they have been voted by public votes the best care home in England. Well done. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody that voted for us. It means the world to us because it's friends, relatives, residents, and without you, we wouldn't have won this. So thank you so much. It's a purpose-built home, uh, and it's wonderful to work. You know, we have the handrails, wide doors, and um, which makes our life much, much easier. Um, we have 28 residents, 27 that are permanent, and we have one respite room. We do have a waiting list, but we always look at the person that needs the most care um, to come into the home. And it's, you know, we go out to their home to meet them, we do our assessment, we ask them to come in and spend a few days with us if the respite room's free. They'll come and spend about three, they, they have a three monthly probationary period to see if they like us if we get on with them, if they get on with us. And touch wood, which I'm gonna to touch the table, we've never ever had anybody that said, I don't want to stay there, you know, so. <laughs> Look what she's made. <laughs> My mother always used to say to me, if you put, take something out, you always have to put something back in the pot. So I guess this is what we're doing. Our main reason for being here are the residents. I'm very proud of the Abbey Field Society. Um, I came here as a stopgap. I was going to go back to the hospital. I was a nurse. And I came here when my children were very young. Um, I really wanted to get back to work and to care for people. And I've been here 24 years, so it just goes, you know, their, their ethos is wonderful and they're wonderful people. You know, our committee, they are very genuine, caring people. There are, I think I'm right in saying, four of the original staff who joined this establishment in Tamer House in 1987, including Mandy, the matron or the lady in charge, uh, and they're still with us, so I think that says a lot. I mean, there's no question about it that uh, Mandy, our care manager, takes 99% of the responsibility for this award, in my view. She is the type of person that people want to follow uh, and want to be like, and, and that's where it all stems from. It, it's, it's her leadership that has uh, brought about this very high standard of care. Oh, be nice. <laughs> I just feel we never stand still here. We always are looking to see if we can improve. You can get complacent sometimes, but we don't do that. We, we give out surveys to our residents every month and they'll fill in, it's tick boxes, it's easy. And we do things about what they think about the environment, the food, the staff, the management, all the things that you know a care home consists of. The food on the whole is very good, very good. I can't, I can't give you the names because we get the fancy names given to us by the, the chef. He, he likes to give us a surprise, I think. <laughs> Jack, yes. I've been here two and a half years following the minor stroke and I've been very happy here. Um, the carers are friends of mine now which is not unusual because you see them all the time. And I treat it as my home and these are my family now. I've got separate family, but living like this, this is, this is your home. Everybody's an individual and I think you should treat people as individuals. And some residents like to get up early, some don't like to get up till about 12 o'clock. That's fine with us, you know. Some residents like to go to bed early, some like to go to bed late. So I think individuality, there's a few things actually, and I, I think as well for us as carers to use empathy. 
that is most important. Put yourself in that person's place. How would you feel? You know, all my girls do days, evenings and nights so that if one of my residents become ill in the night, they know that person that's looking after them. And it's the same with the staff. They know what our residents likes, dislikes are, their needs. They know what they like during the day, during the evening and at night. It doesn't work for all homes, but it works for us. And the residents have always said, you know, I've been a bit poorly last night, but Julie was here to look after me, or Michael was here. And they know that member of staff, which is nice, you know. All the staff are very good. I can't say, you know, Better than that, I mean, they're all, uh, I mean, I have a little bit of trouble with matron sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! She couldn't resist that. She couldn't resist! <laughs> well, it's her fault, really. <laughs> but they're all very nice. There's none of them have ever been uh, unkind to me or refused me anything or anything. I've been well looked after.